This is from Cuckleberry Finn. <laughs> J. Cobb, I swear to God, if you're going to kill Drax or Rocket, I will never forgive you, MCU. I understand your emotional attachment to those characters. Yeah. They're unbelievable. They'd be pretty hard to kill, too, just practically. Just you know what I mean? practically. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Intro vert. I'm so glad to see the voice actor for Super Mario going places. <laughs> A man and his uh, games. <laughs> <laughs> Nebula and Quill actually kind of works in a weird way. Do you think? Yeah, I think that she's harbored a secret crush on him for years. And then he's finally noticed her eyes and she's like gone like, oh, you know, stop it, don't look at me like that. But if you were to like see what she looked like, then like when they walked into another room, she'd be like, like that. <laughs> Whelmed. Will Poulter is an amazing actor. We can skip this Oh, there's one. lies in um, there. Will Poulter is an amazing actor. Can't wait to see what he brings to Guardians 3. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Zero. It's like it wasn't so one of the things that to, won, you know? Sorry you, about yeah, that. To disappoint. Peter Barrett. Does Warlock possess any Infinity Stone? That's an Infinity Stone. Oh, an infinity, any infinity zone. Yeah, he adds wise to the back of random words. He's been doing it since I met him. I, um, I do nutty. You, <laughs> you don't have um, Does Warlock no, he possess an infinity stone? No. Maybe he creates a new infinity stone. The handsome stone stolen from Quill. Captain Commenter. 8796. James Gunn is about to make an entire theater cry over a Build-A-Bear, and I'm so ready for it. Is he calling Rocket a Build-A-Bear? How dare he? Oh, that's so offensive, Captain Commenter 8796. <laughs> Manuel Perez, 8076, Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. I thought these were all nice comments. <laughs> is that a nice comment? Of course. Okay. He's just being funny. Oh, yeah. I, oh, before I did this movie, I did a movie called The Super Mario Brothers. If you only see two films this summer, make it uh, Guardians and the Super Mario Brothers. Remember Styles 108. So happy for Chikuri Uji. Peacemaker's man. I'm gonna just milk this and read it slowly. <laughs> Getting a big role in this. Looks like a good send off for the Guardians. Absolutely right. There you Wait, go. I like on. that one. For a second, I thought, as in this, remember Stars is not your mum. <laughs> That's not your mum's account. Brackets, he, <laughs> I, for a second I thought it was, your mum had written, <laughs> written that. Oh, right. You I thought got my very mom. excited for a minute. <laughs> Jared McLaren, 5571. And, and I just want to say to the first 5,570 Jared <laughs> McLarens, you know what? You had your shot and you blew it. You blew it, you didn't say this. Me walking into the theater, bawling, B-A-L-L-I-N-G. Me walking out of the theater, bawling, B-A-W-L-I-N-G. Because Jared is not afraid of showing his emotions. He's a baller. Which is important in a real man. That's right. You could be a baller. And you should also know how to cry. Ad abariamphibia 6812. <laughs> what? It's hilarious. Peter knows how to fly a spaceship, but a normal car he struggles with. Oh, it's one of my favorite scenes. It's oh, really funny yeah. with uh, with you yeah, trying to open the door. You can't open the damn door. And let also, it's a big scene where uh, he drops the f bomb. Finally, the first f bomb yeah. in the MCU history. Caesar Cortez ninety seven says Quill is a fun character. I know this seems to be a closing chapter for the GOTG, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, thank you. But I could definitely see Quill showing up as a side character in future movies. Yeah, not any sort of lead. Yeah, don't do that to yourselves. It had to be a side, like, you know, yeah, yeah. really a small. A guest star. Yeah. A small yeah. guest star. You go from being the a lead. A small free cameo. The trilogy to being, a, you know, sort of an extra. I see that as a major compliment, Cesar Cortez. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I'd be open to that because that means I could get in and get out. When you get to do, I, I, I grew up doing a, a show called Parks and Rec. You and did. Uh, sometimes being the side what, kick what is funny. What was is that funny. grab for? Uh, just to let you know that uh, Dude, stop I'm around. pretty awesome on <laughs> Parks and Rec. And uh, doing the side character stuff is good because you don't have to do any of the emotional heavy lifting. You just get to come in and do like a little comedic jazz guitar solo and then bounce. Bruce Gamer is 1187. <laughs> Diane, Groot looking chiseled. Oh yes, he's been working out. Yeah, he is swole. <laughs> Ooh, damn. 
Damn. Damn. I don't know how I to pronounce it. that. Damn. Damn. Wait, was it, is it with a Y? Yeah, it was like, damn. 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 It's kind of written phonetically. Oh, okay, thank you. Damn. A man in his games. Nebula and Quill actually kind of works in a weird way. Oh, Quebula. Oh. Yeah, all the internet is talking about Quebula. Is that true? Yeah, Quebula's a big thing right after oh. Bugborg. Bugborg is Mantis and Nebula, and they have a lot of fan fiction out there. Yeah, wow. I can't believe you have the time to write all that. <laughs> Plan B, 7-7. Seven, seven. After watching the Christmas special, all we want now is just more Drax and Mantis. They are hilarious. You're gonna see more of Drax and Mantis for sure. Coming soon. Yeah. This is from Cuckleberry Finn. <laughs> Cuckle... Cuckle... Cuckleberry Finn! It's a very Cuckleberry Finn oh thing my too. James Gunn is going to Who save- Who names themselves Cuckleberry Finn? And Cuckleberry Finn did. Okay. James Gunn is going to save the MCU and DC in the same year. Incredible, says Cuckleberry Berry Finn. Finn. I wish you had a better screen name. It would be a bigger compliment. <laughs> Thank you, Cuckleberry Finn. Yeah, right. thanks, Cuckleberry Finn, from the bottom of my heart. A man and his games. Dave Again. Bautista as Drax has to be some of the best comic book film casting ever, I swear. I completely agree. Completely he is agree. so hilarious. Basket Cage 9483. I wonder who's gonna die. They are definitely trying to trick us by making it look like Star-Lord is dead with his body being carried what? and crying. No. Guess that means he is safe. No, we're not trying to trick anybody. He's drunk at the beginning of the movie and Nebula is carrying him through the streets. It happens in the first four minutes of the movie. By the way, interesting fact about that body. That was an actual uh, uh, legacy effect. That body is not really Chris Pratt. Right. They built a body and it weighed 35 pounds. So And it looks exactly like it's me. Really it's really Very eerie. Yeah. And James now has it in his office. Oh, that's I funny. had it in my office for a long time and people would come in and scream. They would what in it and scream? They'd come in and scream. <laughs> what? Because when it's sitting on its back, they would it, do what? Come in. <laughs> when they come in. <laughs> what did you say? They come in and scream. <laughs> oh, come in and scream. <laughs> I was like, how many people did you like come in here and scream? I don't know. Dude, <laughs> I let everybody have a crack. It'll, it'll, it'll pop. You're like, you're like it's really important that it looks exactly Rachel, like Chris. Like, shut up. And he's asleep with his mouth yeah. open. And if you like that video, why not check out James Gunn reacting to your IGN comments for Brightburn or Chris Pratt reacting to your comments for Jurassic World.